Welcome back guys. In today's video, Sebastian's wondering how to get rid of the gator icon associated with the URL. In other words, the fave icon on our websites. How to create a custom fave icon in WordPress. And it's pretty funny that Sebastian mentioned it took a bit more than 2 hours 37 and 14. It takes me longer too. And it just makes me wonder how long does it take uh, him and, and all you guys? Like one night, two nights? How long does it take to make a website? So we're gonna change the icon on our four minute website demo site here. Right up in the top, we have this little blank paper. You might have a gator. And to change the icon, we can just go to customize and click site identity. And now scroll down and you're gonna see this site icon section. We can just download a cool new fave icon. Make sure it matches the height and width guidelines here. Should be pretty big. And then WordPress will crunch it down. But in our case, we can just select image and conveniently grab one of these little YouTube icons. All right, and then we can select it, crop image, and right away it starts showing up as the fave icon. Just make sure to publish and you're all done. So not hard at all. Um, and if you wanted to go the older route, if you're because your site doesn't have this uh, site identity screen in customize, even though I think many of them will nowadays. If you want to go the older route, then you can upload a fave icon to your WordPress theme folder, which is just in uh, your file manager. And then you just go to your site and then you go to WP content and then you go to themes. I'm just double clicking on the folder icon to get inside of it. And then you click on the theme name. And what you do in this older method is upload a file called favicon.ico or even .png, but we usually use .ico.ico into this folder. And as the WordPress instruction says, once you upload that uh, file, then you can go to your appearance editor, header PHP file, and insert this one line of code, usually right before the closing head tag or somewhere in the head. All right, so I have an older YouTube video on how to do that. I'll put it in the description below in case you want it. So thanks so much to um, Sebastian for asking the question that inspired this tutorial. Really great common question. Thanks so much for asking it on our newest large WordPress tutorial. I really appreciate when you guys do that because that shows YouTube and the whole world that the tutorial is getting more popular. I guess if I were to have a million comments on a video, I'd rather have them on one of these large WordPress tutorials than on just any other small daily video um, because the daily videos don't do as much to help my business as the big videos. Um, so if you see this icon, post your comments right here on this little uh, thumbnail. All right, so <laughs> thanks again, Sebastian, and thanks so much for watching you guys because I really enjoyed making this for you. Please make sure to subscribe and we'll all do our best to make blogging more fun for you, and I'll see you next time.